All right. Hey, everyone. Going to be talking probably a lot about evolution or more rather talking a lot about creationism or creation, excuse me, because uh, I'm interested in that more. I'm, I'm, it's, it's really fascinating. We, we can't take that away from creation. Um, I guess I can still say creationists. We can't take that away from creationists. The fact that the creation model is interesting. It's a, it's an exercise in, in uh, you know, saying, well, the Bible's true. How can we make everything in the rest of the world conform to the Bible? It's very interesting how people can try and uh, work that out. So yeah, if, if we start talking about Calvinism or the flat earth, I'm just going to kick people. Um, that's how I do. Oh, no. So let me just, you know, make sure I have the link out there. Anyone come on in. Come on in, gang. Oh, it's being a butt right now. There we go. Okay. So hold on a second, everyone. I did all that dancing in the hopes that that would be the screenshot, but it's not. Oh, well. So... Oh, the other thing I wanted to do was to calculate human population because I found a paper on a creationist website that does calculate uh, human population after the flood. And I wanted to do it because it's another interesting argument against uh, a flood occurring little less, what is it? 3,500 years ago um, is the timeline of human history doesn't make sense with the flood occurring. So, but what I've run into is people wanted to calculate, wanted to like calculate population density and stuff like that. So I found a website, a creationist website that actually does that, that actually has like, you know, equations and stuff. And so I was going to go through those. All right, so let's make a whole, I'm going to make a whole new page. A lot of times, I wish people could see it more. I'm writing notes when I talk to other people because, I, I, I mean, even if I don't agree with you, I still feel that sometimes people will say very interesting stuff. So I take notes and everything. But it sometimes it doesn't look that way. And sometimes it might just look like I'm just scaling down. All right, so let me tell you the argument. The argument is that there's not enough time between the end of the flood and today and, or no, excuse me, there's not enough time between the end of the flood and the, what is it, the emergence of all these huge man-made buildings all the way around the world. That is, after the flood, eight people were alive. That's it. Just eight. Just eight. Um, and let's see. After the flood, the flood ended. Oh, I want to get this right, so I'll look it up. I should have looked it up before I started this, but oh well. Oh, the flood ended. Ended the flood end. 
I wrote it down and everything. It's at 2350 BC, I believe. Um, Is it no? Dang it. Flood geology. Where are you? Flood geology. I can't find my notes on flood geology. There we go. All right. All right. So. Yeah, so, yeah, 23 BC. Uh, 2350 BC is when the flood occurred, is when the flood ended, excuse me. Um, and so, uh, Jesus is obviously at zero. He's 80. But before that, we have things like, we have things like the, oh, I tried to stick it within times. So if we're giving creationists their timeline, we're saying, okay, there's only 6,000 years old. The you know, Earth is only 6,000 years old. The flood ended at, on our timeline, it ended at 2350 BC. Or that's when it occurred. So 2351 is when the flood ended. So... By, so let's say 100 years later, by 2250 BC, over 23 man-made structures in South America, Africa, Asia, the UK, and other parts of the world are clearly evident. And again, this is still within the creationist time range. So by, so 100 years after the flood, we have 23 different man-made structures. Now, some of these include the pyramids, straight-up pyramids. Now, there's more to this. And the thing about it is that there was, after the flood, two major incidents is also occurred. There was the Tower of Babel incident, and there was an ice age. Now, this Ice Age, I don't know too much about, actually. I don't know if, like, I mean, when I think Ice Age, I think it's global. I think of a global Ice Age. But they might be referring to something that happened just in the area. But I've seen the Ice Age referenced in, in several different um, uh, creationist writings. And so, according to uh, Answers in Genesis, an Ice Age took place around uh, 2200 years before Christ, so 2200 BC. So, so far, I'm going to draw, and hopefully this will show up. So. All right, so, so far we have this, right? Ah. We have time. There's when the flood ended, and then we have an ice age. Now, like I said, it seems like the ice age happened 150 years after. So any of the man-made things that I cite, uh, what is it? All happened after the Ice Age occurred. I don't know when the Ice Age ended. I've seen anywhere from 20, it's lasted like 400 years. I've seen some people mention that the Ice Age has lasted. Hey, viewer who just left, if you want to come in and talk, uh, please do. I love talking with people. But if you want to talk about Calvinism or Flat Earth, I'll kick you. So anyways, the Ice Age occurred. Now, the thing is, Ice Ages tend to mess with human populations. 
a major reason why and now I'm actually stepping outside of the creationist framework I'm going to talk about human evolution the main reason why culture in humans became such a huge deal is because the ice ages occurred and ice ages are rel relatively fast in terms of geologic time and so humans started using cultural adaptation to their environment when ice age occurred instead of humans i mean humans in europe where the ice age was was pretty ridiculous um instead of you know just becoming super furry again what they started doing was wearing animal furs they started wearing clothing they didn't need to grow a whole bunch of i mean the humans that were surviving were not the humans that were becoming hairier the humans that were surviving were the humans who were who were figuring out hey i can go and skin an animal use that skin to keep me warm and it's not that that brain idea is what was passed on it's that those humans were able to teach their offspring able i mean teaching emulation those kinds of things were became significantly more important to our survivability during the ice age but you know i'm going off on the tangent a little the point is is that ice ages cold people die so after the flood we only have eight people and then for a hundred years 23 different man-made uh structures popped up several of these like the pyramids required hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of laborers over several years to make it required a lot of people it required a cultural system which had people in charge who then relegated to people who were not in charge to do all the heavy lifting but in between that hundred years had to have been the tower of babel because uh, up until the Tower of Babel, is everyone had like a unified language and everyone hung out in modern day Iran and they were all like, hey, let's make a tower, a Tower of Babel. So Tower of Babel occurred sometime within this hundred years that I was talking about. So, so there's a Tower of Babel, everyone was in modern day Iran. Now the thing is, the Tower of Babel that the Tower of Babel is based off of is actually a tower that was built uh, in order to glorify Marduk and it is traced to being 600 BCE but I'm not going to worry about that I'm going now I'm back in the creationist timeline so now I'm just worrying about what they say um, so let's say the Tower of Babel is really as old as they say it is uh, it has to be after 23 BCE in order to uh, because it couldn't have survived the flood but um, it has to have been before um, whenever the Egyptians were around right it had to have been before when Moses came right when did Moses come around when was Moses around maybe I should look that up that would be more specific Oh, yeah, that's right. Usually I just go to Creation Wiki because the creationist websites are actually kind of annoying to navigate. Well, Moses is said to have written the Old Testament. So Moses is roughly, so look at the end of the Ice Age at 1800 BCE. Uh, 
All right, so at 1451, I'll make it early for you guys. Or 1491, I'll make it early for you guys. Moses wrote the Old Testament. So between 2350 and 1491, we already got Egypt. Egypt is up. Egypt is a thing. And Egypt is a totalitarian thing. Egypt is a thing that has pharaohs. It has all these lands, everything. Um, oh, yeah, especially by that time. But I don't know how old uh, how old Moses is at this time. Um, this is this is after the events of what happened with uh, Mount Sinai, I believe. So before that, so hmm, let's say fifteen hundred. Yeah, we'll make it nice and simple. Fifteen hundred is when Egypt is a thing. Is a thing. Well, before that, Egypt is a thing, but I'm going to give you, because give or take, I mean, when we talk about evolutionary time and stuff, it's always nice to know that it's give or take a few, you know, there's a standard deviation we're working with. So I think it's fair to let that be a thing. All right. So where was I? All right. So... So, yeah, but in between this time, not only is Egypt a thing, places in South America are things. Um, because, like I said, there's a place in South America. Let me find the exact name for y'all. Um, yeah, it's Corral. Around... Um, which is a place in South America which flourished between 26 to 200 BCE. Um, and the rough estimated uh, population made by archaeologists of this place is 3,000 people. So 3,000 people were already hanging out in a place in South America. So let's see. So now, here's the main issue. All these places all over the world require people to make them. People and time. But let's not worry about time right now. Let's just worry about people. It requires people to make these things. Lots of people to make these things. Um, let's see. Less than 100 years, uh, well, what is it? 250 years after the flood, there's already 3,000 people, at least 3,000 people hanging out in South America. Um, let's see. This is in spite of a ice age that occurred. And um, this is also on top of how many people are hanging out in Egypt after the flood. And this is also in spite of the Tower of Babel. Now, I forget when, but I think the Tower of Babel happened before the Ice Age. I should look that up as well. You know what? Maybe I should look all this up and then I'll have a hangout presented. How about that? So I'm going to stop broadcasting and I'll do this over again.